400 new pages of documents were released to Channel 9 today in the case against Casey. And the documents could raise reasonable doubt in the case because they failed to link Casey Anthony directly to the crime scene. Channel 9's Kathy Bellich has been sorting through all that evidence today, and she's live outside the Orange County Courthouse right now. Kathy, this might give Casey's defense some ammunition in court. Well, it is a bit of a break for the defense, less incriminating evidence to fight against, more to try to use to create reasonable doubt. But that could be the defense team's greatest obstacle, that word reasonable. New FBI reports released today show investigators cannot definitively match debris on Casey Anthony's shoes and in her car trunk with soil and debris found in the woods where Kaylee's remains were found. The FBI can't rule it out either. FBI chemists say tests on the strands of Kaylee's hair that were found at the scene for evidence of prescription drugs taken from the Anthony's house were negative. It helps the defense because the defense does not then have to um, counter that particular piece of evidence. And WFTV legal analyst Bill Schaefer says the defense could try to create doubt in jurors' minds by focusing on those weak links because of unanswered questions such as how Kaylee was murdered. But he says doubt and reasonable doubt are two different things. The legal standard is this. A reasonable doubt is not a mere possible doubt, a speculative, imaginary, or forced doubt. But in this particular case, there's so much circumstantial evidence, and you're going to see an ebb and flow. Investigators did find a link between the duct tape stretched across Kaylee's skull and the tape on the Anthony's gas can, and between the Anthony's house and a heart sticker on that duct tape, and the laundry bag and trash bags that Kaylee's remains were stashed in. The FBI did not test Kaylee's hairs that were found in the woods for chloroform because its chemist said that wouldn't prove anything. Now, chloroform is a byproduct of decomposition. Even so, Channel 9 has found out prosecutors had someone else test those hairs for chloroform, and the results could be in soon. Reporting live at the Orange County Courthouse, Kathy Bellich, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.